Hello, my name is John Lee, and I'm the president of Alpha Training and Consulting, and I have a true passion for preparing people for ASQ certification exams. But today I'm going to answer the question, how do I become an ASQ CQA, meaning Certified Quality Auditor? It's a great certification. Uh, step one, if you want to become a CQA, get the desire and fulfill the prerequisites. What are the prerequisites? Candidates must have worked in a full-time paid role, uh, candidates must have eight years of on-the-job experience. However, if you have a diploma from a technical or trade school, you only need seven years of experience. If you have an associate's degree, you only need six years of experience. If you have a bachelor's degree, you'll only need four years of experience. If you have a master's or doctorate's degree, you'll only need three years of experience. So those are the prerequisites. To look up the latest on this, there's the ASQ website for doing that uh, to make sure nothing's changed. But it's been pretty solid over the years, so I think you'll be good there. Uh, step two is the most time-consuming and taxing uh, element of becoming a CQA, Quality Auditor. Prepare to take the exam. Okay, that's the difficult part. This is where you have to do all the studying. Visit my website at www.asqcqa.com. I created a website specifically for the CQA prep class. So be sure and check that out. We prepare students for most of the ASQ certification exams. We've been doing so for over 20 years. And so for 20 years, we've been improving this class. So if you go through us, you're going to have a great class with a great probability of passing that exam. Here are all the lectures we give in that class. We also use the Indiana Quality Council Primer as part of the class. So it's a great class. Okay, now that you've uh, studied, you're ready to go, it's time to sign up for the ASQ exam. Watch my video entitled, How to Sign Up for an ASQ Exam, and it will show you how to do that. Um, you, the ASQ CQA is provided on the February cycle. What do I mean by that? ASQ allows you to take the CQE exam every other month throughout the year, beginning in February. That's what the February cycle means. So February, skip March. Then you'll be tested on in April, skip May, then it'll be June, etc. Every other month, usually first week, and then there's a couple week window open for you to take the exam. Uh, you, can, you need to sign up that for that about a month before you take it. I suggest you do so earlier than that because if you put it off to the last minute, what you're going to find is that uh, the place that offers the exam, they may not have any seats left. And so ASQ says you can take it, but there's no room in the testing center to take it. Therefore, you'll have to postpone it. So be sure and do that earlier than later. Sign up for that. Uh, if you want to look at the latest schedule, you can go to the ASQ website that I have listed there, and you can uh, check that out. All right, what is the pass rate on the CQA? Well, the CQA, you quality auditors, must be great at taking tests because you have the second greatest amount of success. And that is, uh, the first one was Master Black Belt at a 98% pass rate. CQA has an 82% pass rate. Okay, so that's not too bad. And how many hours do I think it will take you to prepare for this? Um, if you take my class, it's going to be around 74 hours is my estimate. Some will be a little longer, some a little less, but on average, 74 hours. But it's a great amount, great, uh, investment, that time investment is great because you get to become a CQA. Our pass rate's much higher than this. We're in the upper 90% range on, on our test, under on our prep class. Okay, what's step five? This is the fun part. Pass the ASQ exam and celebrate. There you have it. That's what we want to see you do. I always get excited when I hear of a student passing their ASQ exam. The quality auditor, how much did they get paid? Well, I went to all these websites looked up and found the average to be around $51,000 per year. That's a pretty good certification. That's a pretty good salary for this certification. And so it's uh, definitely something to celebrate. And uh, I go into greater detail if you want to watch our video on quality aud auditor salaries. Uh, I go into how many years experience, what your degree is, uh, what industry you work in, etc. It'll give you a little more realistic idea of how much to expect after you pass the CQA. All right, as you can see, I've passed most of the ASQ exams, including the quality auditor exam. We've been doing this for 20 years. We've been improving upon the CQA class for 20 years. Imagine that, 
have a great class for you there. Uh, you, can you can contact me by going to my website at alphatc.com, go to the Contact Us option, and uh, send me a message. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll get back with you as soon as possible.